Now to politics, and we are heading into the last weekend before Election Day. That's right, just four days away, and an unprecedented number of Americans have already voted. Nationwide, 84 million have cast their ballot early. Here in Ohio, two and a half million votes have been cast. We have team coverage this evening. Brandon Simmons details the ways you can still vote and what to do if you have not mailed that absentee ballot back in. But first, Mark Namick dives into the numbers and how all those early votes could influence when we get election results. Early voting. Tell everyone you know. But you have to get out and vote. We are creating the greatest red wave. In Battleground history. campaigning, the coronavirus, and worries about postal delays are generating long lines and piles of mail before Election Day. Sizing up the tidal wave of early ballots, 84 million already cast nationwide. More than half of all ballots counted in the 2016 general election. In Ohio, more than 2.5 million have voted in person or by mail. Potentially good news for those turning out on Election Day. You know, those are folks that aren't going to be out at the polls, you know, standing in line on, on Election Day itself. And, and certainly that is, is good and helpful. Aaron Ackerman, executive director of the Ohio Association of Elections Officials, says the primary that was delayed by the pandemic helped them prepare. The primary of 2020 was maybe a huge blessing in disguise because we learned so many lessons. Among them, pushing early voting, adding machines to open envelopes, and recruiting extra poll workers, all of which officials hope leads to timely results. We may know more sooner because of all these absentee ballots that are coming in, we do have the ability in Ohio to process those and count those um, on, you know, right when the clo polls close down at 7.30 p.m. So but he cautions. Voters will have a pretty good idea at the end of the night where we stand, uh, but certainly, again, we're not going to sacrifice uh, accuracy for speed. We'll be diligent in making sure everybody's vote gets counted. Elections officials have recruited 50 percent more poll workers than they used in the last presidential election to deal with coronavirus protocols and the potential for record turnout, though that's hard to predict. As for those still thinking about voting early, my colleague Brandon Simmons has these important tips to ensure that your vote gets counted. I think we're going to get back to Brandon in just a moment because he has some really important for in, important information to make sure that your vote is counted. It looks like we have him right now. So Brandon Simmons with the very latest. OK, this is it, everybody. It's crunch time for early voters, whether you're looking to vote absentee or vote early in person. Now, Halloween is technically the last day to request an absentee ballot this year. But because of the sheer volume of early voters and processes involved, experts I've spoken to say it's probably a bad idea to put in that request now. My recommendation is that at, at this point, it is functionally too late to vote by mail at this point. So um, I recommend voters who, if you haven't voted yet, utilize that early voting option at your local board of elections. That's Ross McDonald, director at the Lake County Board of Elections. He says don't put in a ballot request. Instead, vote early this weekend or Monday at your board of elections. Otherwise, you'll have to cast a vote in person on election day at your polling place. Now, if you've already received your ballot but haven't mailed it back yet, McDonald says it's probably a little too late for that, too. Our recommendation is to return your ballot to the drop box of your local board of elections. That should ensure that your absentee vote will be reflected in the unofficial results released on election night. In other words, using the Postal Service, your ballot could potentially arrive after election day. It still would count if postmarked by November 2nd, but it won't be included in initial vote totals. Now, if you've already mailed your ballot back, check that your Board of Elections has received it by Tuesday morning. If they haven't, you can still vote a provisional ballot at your polling place on Election Day, in case your ballot never arrives. Only one of those votes will count. No matter how you do it, just remember, go vote. I'm Brandon Simmons, 3 News.